Hello everyone, we finally have Tekken 8 and I'm gonna start off by playing the character episodes. I bet everyone right now is doing story mode, so I'm gonna hold off on that for a while. Do character episodes. Select story mode difficulty. I think I'm just gonna do medium. I don't know how to play all the characters. Oh, this is interesting. I thought it was gonna be like character select screen. No, it's just a list of characters. Pretty cool. Who should I start with? Jun is locked. Why is she locked? Unlocks after progressing through the Dark Awakened story. Okay. Is that the only one? Reyna is also locked. I might just start from the top of the list with Alyssa Bosconovich. Alisa Bosconovich operates as a member of Yggdrasil, the rebel army led by Lars Alexanderson. Recently, the frequency with which Lars graced her thought processes seemed rather illogical to the android. Amidst her ruminations, the King of Iron Fist tournament was announced to choose the next head of the Mishima Zaibatsu. Once Lars decided to join, Alisa was adamant about participating in the tournament herself. Welcome to the King of Iron Fist Tournament. First up, what is this? It's like a WWE Get intro. Ready for the next battle. I was expecting the concept art they always had, like the storyboards they had in previous seconds. I will defeat you for Lars. Who really likes Lars now? Round one. Fight. Oh, isn't this medium? Whoa, that was a new move. Okay. First win. Grab him. Grab this line guy. Oh, they changed their power crush. How do you do a power crush now? Oh! What was that? It's the I one plus two now, okay. No, it's just normal. That's how you do it. <laughs> do a special style. Just easy mode. I wonder how many rounds it is. This second round. Against Brian now. I'm guessing it's random opponents. Round one. Fight. I don't know her tornado moves. Wow. I did nothing. A lot of her inputs are different. That's still the same. Nice. Yeah, that was fun. Do it again. Who's next? Dragonov. She has the same intro for everyone. He has a heat engager, yeah? Okay. Wow. 
Oh. She's like way enhanced when she has heat on. I see you do the power crush now, it's back one plus two. And that's a wrap. See you tomorrow. Get is that it? For the next battle. Semi-finals, how many is that? Four now? So this one's really short. Not like the older Tekkens. Oh, this is a special interaction. Oh, wow, that's different. Nice. Get you a hole. Nice. So now we go to the finals. Who's the final boss? Fondoshi Hihachi? Lars! We were doing this for Lars. For Lars sake, I need to defeat him. That is Lars. I gotta defeat Lars for his sake. <laughs> Tornado? Did she say tornado? Tornado? Nice. Isn't there a follow-up? I think it's one, two, four, right? No? Is it one, two, three? There we go. Nice. We defeated Lars for Lars' sake. That has to be a final, final boss. That was it. Really? That was it? No, no final boss? Just killed him. Just blew up the whole stadium. We got five money. We'll terminate. That's the title. Is that what it's called? Alyssa Plate. Mark A. Okay. One million G. That's a lot of money. That was really short. I was expecting like a big ending like in the classic Tekkens. I don't know. Let me know what you guys think about it. It seems pretty much the same as Tekken 7. And it was really short. It was like, what, five matches? We should have had like seven or eight. And we should have had a final boss. Here's the ending. I gotta see this again. It wasn't that good. It was like a Tekken 7 ending. She fights in the tournament. Lars is the final boss. Beats him. Like, oh, it's okay. Okay. 
So she likes Lars, we already knew that. But every time Lars touches her, she like goes red and kills him. It's just a weird ending. It's like a Tekken 7 ending. But yeah, that was Alyssa. Her inputs are different for a lot of her moves. She seems pretty cool in this game. And I'll see you in the next video.